Good morning and Merry Christmas. Greetings to all our friends and to the visitors with us today and to the members and those who are watching from on television, wherever they might be. Please refer to the back of the bulletin for the announcements and the upcoming events. I'd like to point out that the Christmas Eve service will be at 7 o'clock, and next Sunday morning the service will be at 9.30. At this time, please take time to sign the Ritual of Friendship pad located in the end of the pew and pass it back, and then tear it off and put it in the offering plate. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence as we prepare ourselves for worship. Let the heavens spill forth with glorious light. Let our lives declare your heart-changing power. Open the stable of Bethlehem to meet you. Open our hearts with joy to greet you. within the hearts of your people, O God, the love you sent in flesh to Bethlehem's stable. The love you showed at point of thorn, as sampled with at cruelty of cross. Teach us such selfless, selfless, self, whatever, lasting love. Excuse me. Four flames now burn where darkness once prevailed, a sign of light and life and love. Come, come on, Lord Jesus, come quickly. Well, good morning, everybody. So how many more days? Think again. Seven days. Seven more days. Isn't it exciting? Don't you just love Christmas? One week until Christmas. That is exactly right. Well, I have asked some of these children down here to help me this morning, and we're going to do something a little different today. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read something out of the Bible. We usually do that, don't we? But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son. And you are to give him the name Jesus. Exactly, Jesus. Now that's, that's out of the Bible, out of the book of Luke, chapter 1, and that's verses 30 and 31. Now many years ago, there was a woman named Sarah Hale. And she wrote one of the best known and best loved children's poems ever written. And I bet you know this poem. It starts out, Mary had a little lamb, 
its fleece was white as you do know that poem don't you snow and everywhere that mary went the lamb was sure to go yeah, to sn yeah, the snow. Yes, we did see snow, didn't we? Mm-hmm, sure did. Now, there are a number of other verses to that poem, but we're not going to talk about those. What I want to talk about today is, let me ask you a question. Jesus' mother's name was? Mary, that's right. And sometimes we hear the people in the Bible referring to Jesus as the Lamb of God. You ever hear that before? The Lamb of God? And look back here behind you. Look what that shepherd is holding. What, the she what is the shepherd holding? A lamb. Now Christmas is going to be here soon. And that's the day we celebrate Jesus' birthday. We, heard, we read about the angel who appeared to Mary and told her that she would have a child and she would name him Jesus. So I thought with... Mary, his mother, and Jesus as the Lamb of God, I thought it would be a good thing for us to read Mary had a little lamb with different words. Now, this probably won't ever be as famous as Sarah Hale's poem, but I have asked you to help me. Now, who has number one? Would you come stand up here? Turn around and look at everybody. Mary had a little lamb. He was born on Christmas Day. She laid him in a manger bed to sleep upon the hay. Who has number two? Angels fly in the, angels fly the nighttime sky, and they begin to sing. Shepherds heard them all proclaim the birth birthday of the a king. Number three. Wise men saw a blazing star up in the sky that night. They followed it until they found the king of love and light. Mary had a little lamb, but he wasn't hers. You know he was the very son of God, the one who loves us so. The father of this little lamb loved the world so much that he sent his only son to earth so he could feel his touch. He came to give us joy and peace and take away our sin. So when he knocks on your heart's door, be sure to let him in. This verse really loud, okay? Why do I love this precious land? What can the reason be? The answer is I claim to see. It's because he first loved me. Very good. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for your help. Now, before we go, I would like for you to bow your heads with me. Let's say a little prayer together. Dear Lord, thank you for sending your precious lamb to take away our sin. Help us to remember as we celebrate his birthday that he was the greatest gift of all. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. The Old Testament reading today is from 2 Samuel chapter 7, verses 1 through 11. It's God's covenant with David. Before long, the king made himself at home, and God gave him peace from all his enemies. Then one day, King David said to Nathan, the prophet, Look at this. Here I am, comfortable in a luxurious house of cedar, and the chest of God sits in a plain tent. Nathan told the king, Whatever is on your heart, Go and do it. God is with you. But that night, the word of God came to Nathan, saying, Go and tell my servant David. This is God's word on this matter. 
you're going to build a house for me to live in. Why I haven't lived in a house from the time I brought the children of Israel up from Egypt until now. All that time I've moved about with nothing but a tent. And all my travels with Israel did I ever say to any of the leaders I commanded to shepherd Israel. Why haven't you built me a house of cedar? So here is what you're to tell David. The God of the angel armies has this word for you. I took you from the pastures, tagging along after sheep, and made you prince over my people Israel. I was with you everywhere you went and mowed your enemies down before you. Now I'm making you famous to be ranked with the great names on earth, and I'm going to set aside a place for my people Israel and plant them there so they'll have their own home and not be knocked around anymore, nor will evil men afflict you as, you, as they always have. Even during the days I set judges over my people Israel, finally I'm going to give you peace from your enemies. The word of God for the people of God. As we move towards prayer today, uh, I have a few prayer concerns to lift up. I'd like to lift up Nicholas and Tikon and Ted. Uh, they're young men that will be, be uh, they're going off to, uh, to serve. Uh, we need to keep them in our prayers. Also, I'd like to lift up Amy Edwards and keep her and her family in our prayers. Uh, not the Amy Edwards that most of you know, but another one. Are there any other prayer concerns today before we pray? My mother made me to church this morning. Yes, she did. Let's pray together. Also, I'd like to lift up Amy Edwards and keep her and her family in our prayers. Uh, not the Amy Edwards that most of you know, but another one. Are there any other prayer concerns today before we pray? My mother made me to church this morning. Yes, she did. Let's pray together. we come together this day we will listen to the story of Jesus in song we thank you father for the precious gift of music that you give to us how it lifts our hearts stirs our passions and causes us to draw close to you we thank you, Father, for the presence of your Son, Jesus, who came to us in the form of a child. In a week's time, he will be among us, and we will celebrate it. Help us to remember, Father, all that was done for us, that we might have the gift of eternal life. I know that as I pray right now, there are those who are lifting their own prayers for family, for friends, for loved ones, for our country, for our church. In each and every sincere prayer, Father, you respond to and you answer. We ask that you continue to be with us this day. 
as we honor your holy name and share the prayer that you gave us so long ago. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.